a wonderful family um, time it was for us to just be able to share and laugh and and have a good time and and celebrate. Mm -hmm. It was a wonderful, you know, brought our family together and all the cousins and. Um, I told my kids I didn't need friends when I was growing up because I had family, so <laughs> they were my friends. So, just a really special time. Wow, that's so special. Yeah, it's a time for the whole extended family and, and friends and uh, always a, a lot of people. And these things are very formative for a child, you know, without re realizing it. This was just a family tradition, but we didn't realize how it was forming us in our faith yes. and in our devotion mm -hmm. and in our Catholic identity. So it's so important for parents to be aware of this. These kind of practices are very formative for their children if they want their children to grow up, keeping their Catholic faith intact and with their, their good values. They, parents should be doing these kinds of things, preserving these rich traditions which we have from, from long, long ago. Mm -hmm. They're still very alive and, and relevant today. Well, maybe this question for Teresa, as a mom, what advice would you give to families, moms and dads who are going to put together a St. Joseph's table this year, try it out, uh, maybe begin this tradition in their family? Um, I would say go for it, and um, but don't forget the prayer. Um, the saying of family that prays together stays together is ever so true, especially in our um, culture today. Um, that's the, the thing that binds us together is prayer. We're, we're united with one heart, lifting our hearts to Jesus, and um, that's extremely important these days. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you. And that was also part of the ritual. We'd have the priest from the parish come to bless the table. And I remember playing Jesus, um, the little ritual, I'd wash my hands and then say a prayer uh, of grace for the meal. The little boy did that because he's playing the role of Jesus. So oh, wow. the prayer is an integral part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever feel when you were playing Jesus that like that might be a future call for you is to be in well, persona Christi as a priest? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, subconsciously, not consciously, because I felt how, you know, how, how special it was and holy. So, um, so maybe they're a little bit maybe subconsciously, little bit. huh? Set like little seeds that, for but you. But they became more <laughs> conscious. Became more conscious about it a little later in life, toward the end of high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, thank you both for walking us through this special family tradition with all your memories. Um, it's such an honor to be able to to do this and to share it with the archdiocese, um, Archbishop. I know there's a special prayer yes. for um, St. Joseph's Day, so maybe as we end this, before we eat, um, if you could bless the food for us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to share all these wonderful traditions. Mm -hmm.